All right, moving things right along. Keep it going for our next performer here. Christian, what's your last name? I already forgot. Curtis. Curtis. Keep it going for Christian Curtis here. Hey guys, how you doing tonight? Awesome, excited. Okay. So um, I did some traveling over the holidays and a lot of people were freaking out for a while about the uh, body scan system. Personally, I thought it was kind of cool, but not only that, I came up with a great advertising campaign. Viagra, be proud of your body scan. You think before and after pictures work well for Weight Watchers. Wait till you see that commercial. So uh, anyway, I am Irish Italian, and that means I can make you a deal you can't refuse, but only if you find me pot of gold first. It also means that uh, if I tell you I'm gonna teach you how to river dance, you don't know if I mean bagpipes or cement shoes, so look out. It's weird being half Irish and 21 years old, because I am, um, but because I don't drink, and when I tell people that, usually the reaction I get is that they look at me like I'm a unicorn or something. Like I'm not really supposed to exist at all. It's, it's kind of annoying. And of course the question comes up, well, why don't you drink? Well, honestly, I'm dumb enough sober. Um, one night on the way home from here, I stopped at a stop sign for like five minutes waiting for it to turn green. <laughs> My friend's dad bought a taser and I decided it might be a good idea to have my friends tase me to see what it felt like. I, I didn't actually do it, but we're not talking about letting my friends convince me that they could tase me. I'm talking about I went to my friends and said, you know what I think would be a good idea? I think you should tase me. I really do. Like, really? Okay. Um, I often contemplate what it would be like to be on fire yeah, add some alcohol to that equation, and I get a story on the 6 o'clock news and a hospital visit at best. Speaking of being on fire, um, there's some phrases people use that really make zero sense whatsoever, like sportscasters, whenever a guy's doing really well, they say, he's on fire, you know? I don't know about you, I don't think I could stand up if I was on fire, let alone hit a ball with a stick. Maybe I guess that's just me. Okay. Um, have you ever heard someone say to you, if your palm itches, you're about to come into some money? What happens if your mm itches? What are you gonna come into then? All right, herpes, we talked about this already. Everybody with the downcast eyes, I know who you are. So, the other thing, people put the F-bomb in front of absolutely everything. Like one of my friends the other day looked at me and said, I am a fucking ninja. So you got a girl pregnant without her knowing you were there? I mean, I'm not sure you should be proud of that, one. Two, you must be one sneaky fucker. I read a story on the, er, on the internet not too long ago. Apparently China is making the world's first 3D porn. Talk about the one genre that could not get more disgusting already, and they made it more disgusting. Like that's the one thing where I don't want stuff flying out at me. You couldn't pay me enough to be in a porn, why would I want to pay them to feel like I'm in a porn? Anyway, I believe that's about my time, so have a good night, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Christian fucking Curtis. Keep it going for him. That's